Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Dope Modesty. Today I have for you my scent box subscription. Yes, my favorite subscription. And well, almost my favorite, but one of my favorites, most definitely. And as you guys know, this is a fragrance subscription. And I also have a little surprise box that I received. And so if you're interested in seeing what these are all about, please stay tuned. <laughs> back my beautiful wildflowers i hope you guys had a really good week it has been a really crazy long week for me i mean it's been a long week last night or yesterday i started work at 6 a.m and i was remote which was good and i ended my day at 11 50 p.m yeah the clock just went around and kept going and but yeah we had some pressing things that we needed to get done but with teamwork we got it done so I'm a little tired, and so if I'm sounding kind of crazy, that's the reason why. But just so I don't sound too crazy, let's do our motivation for the day. And I saw this, and it just kind of made me happy. <clears throat> it's a pretty picture, okay? And it says, do one thing today that makes you happy. Simple. Do one thing that makes you happy. You know, I mean, when we think about motivations and affirmations, we just sometimes complicate things, right? And kind of start thinking about things and just really contemplating. Well, at least I know I do. So, you know, sometimes I need a reminder to just be simple and just do something very simple. Do one thing that makes me happy. And one thing that does make me happy is speaking to you. And so I, I met my quota for the day, I guess. And but anyway, it is really hard sometimes to um, stop and say, okay, what can I do today that's really going to make me happy? And it might not be something like out of the world. It might be something small, right? Treat yourself to something that you like, you know, maybe ice cream. I don't know. I don't know what makes you happy. But you know, for me, it makes me happy to share things with you. And also it makes me happy to just kind of like look outside and see this bright sunlight and just you know really enjoy what's around me and that's what makes me happy just taking a moment for myself I think that's what it is taking a moment for myself so and just remember I mean you have a whole 24 hours in a day just take a moment and do one thing that makes you happy and I think your whole outlook would change if you just made it a habit to do that every day right Okay, all right, so let's get started. I wanna get started with the scent box that you guys know. This is a monthly subscription and it is, um, this one is a two fragrance subscription and you could do one fragrance and you could do the base tier, the premium tier, which I have, or there is even one more, it's like the ultra tier. And those are the um, fragrances that are, you know, three, $400 a bottle. The thing is, I did get a couple of them, um, that I got from my gift. You know how you guys would just sign up and then I get a free one as you get a free one and we each get a free one and I'll leave the link below. Anyway, so I did order it and you know, I wasn't really impressed. I wasn't impressed at all. I still like the ones that's in the premium tier and the day that I find something like Chanel on there, I'll go ahead and maybe think about bumping it up because that's one thing, they don't have Chanel. They have Dior, they have Prada, they have Gucci, they have, I mean, I mean, almost everything except for Chanel. So yeah, anyway, so this one here is $34.95 a month for two premium fragrances. And what I usually do is order one for my husband and one for myself. Um, or I'll do two for him or two for me, depending. Since I got him two last time, and I know he's getting a lot, I did go ahead and decide to do two for myself this time. So let's go ahead and open it and see what I got. And I know I have another one I did order for my husband. He discovered it. Um, it's called Creed, and that's coming. And, uh, I mean, that, that thing is just, like, beautiful. Anyway, so it comes like this for the two. You notice it's two. And then the single one comes with a single box. And here it is. And I love the way this is so colorful. Look at this. I mean, it's just so beautiful, right? And it says scent box right on the label here. 
and let's get it focused there it is and you get random colors depending on you know what you get but i like all the colors they've been sending me but these i like especially because look how nice and bright they are and what they do is they put the fragrance name on the bottom and i know like other subscriptions like um scent bird they put it right on the bottle but be, they, they do that because they don't send you these each time so they only send you like this right and then you reuse the same you know container until the next year because you get one free one every anniversary year but i like it like this because when i store it, it just it looks so nice and then i don't want to have to mess around with it right and another thing about this subscription is that if you don't like one of your fragrances if you get two and you don't like one or even if you just get one and you don't like it you can return it for another one once a month and so it really works out and i have returned them i've returned two i think and um because it was just not good. I didn't even want to give them away. I mean, to me, they were, ugh. So I did return it, and it was really easy. I mean, you just go online, you know, fill out the, um, the little form, what you're returning. You just paste it on the outside of an envelope, and I just use the same envelope they sent it to me in, and just ship it back. And at the same time, you pick your next fragrance, and it, even before it gets there, your return, they will send you the new one. So it's a really good deal. I really like it. And so what did I get today? Well, I got two of them. And let's see which is which. Let's go with this one here. And I do have it up here on a screen so I can tell you a little more about it. So I can be really accurate. And so these things are 0.27 ounces, which lasts for about a month if you use like four sprays a day. And I've not run out of one yet. So because I do have several. But anyway, it just goes like this. And it comes right out. As you notice, it is definitely a full, full, full bottle. So, I mean, I've not gotten one that wasn't a full bottle yet. And this has been going on for about two years now. And so the first one here, I'm going to introduce, which is this one. And I'm going to see if you can see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it does have the name on the bottom of it. And this one is called, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, guys, Kelly Kalashi. And it is by Hermes. And, you know, Hermes is very, very expensive. And, um, you know, they have very good fragrances. But I don't typically like them. I don't know why. But I heard really good things about this one. And so I was really interested in it. And let me tell you a little bit about it. And this one here actually has a... I'm going to read what it says. And I it doesn't say... They never say too much, Hermes, you know. So it says... The unexpected caress of leather among flowers, mimosa, iris, tube rose, and climbing rose, a floral perfume touched by leather. As you know, if you watch my channel and I do these, it's usually a long list of things, but that's all it says about it, the description. And so according to this, and they also, the site will also um, uh, let you know like what type of scent it is and you know what what category at what time of the day is good to wear and what season so this one here with the scent characteristics with iris and leather and this one also has lily of the valley with a little bit of pink grapefruit and a teeny tiny touch of rose and this is a floral classified uh, fragrance and it is youthful the personality of this perfume is youthful and the occasion is evening and the season is spring but it doesn't mean you could only you know wear it you know any evening on spring day a uh, spring evening but um you can wear it whenever you want to <laughs> so anyway let's just go ahead and try this out and like i said they do come 0.27 ounces and if you decide you like something and you want to buy something what you can do is they have the you know the true package of it with still is, um everything wrapped from the manufacturers and the best thing to do at that point is rate one of the perfumes you receive and then you get a 15 percent off coupon and i do that if i want a larger bottle and i've done that and it's been really good so let's go ahead and see Oh, you know, usually I'm not a big floral, floral person. But this one is beautiful. Oh, my. And I can smell the leather behind it. I think that's what helps it is that it, it kind of cuts through the floral, you know, the floweriness. And I don't, like I said, I'm like huge, huge into flowers. But this one is really, really nice. And I do 
get a very tiny scent of rose but it just actually accents all the rest of everything down uh, that's in there because i don't like rose to be honest but this is so very nice matter of fact i'm gonna put this one aside for me to use next because it is really nice it's unique actually well i'm not surprised hermes right so but mmm oh very nice this is very nice and it's very it is springy it, it's true i wouldn't call it summery i would say this is more very solidly into spring you know some you know flowers growing and everything is like cool and breezy and it's a cool a cool fragrance you know some fragrance are warm and some are cool this is definitely a cool fragrance i don't get the grapefruit though but i'm sure whatever they did i mean my goodness no wonder they only have like a one sentence thing. You don't need to say a whole lot about it. It smells wonderful. Okay. Ooh, I, I got to move on <laughs> even though I like that a lot. Okay. Highly recommend, okay? It's like five wildflowers rating. Really good. And I don't do that usually. And so that was that. And then the next one I have is by Theory Moogler. And that's the company that makes um, the, uh, the alien, the angel, and that one. And I really, you know, I was really curious because this one had a high rating as well. And I do like the angel, but not the alien. So I wanted to see if it's any good. And let me tell you a little about this. Okay. It's 18 years after Angel and five years after the extraordinary alien. Theory Moogler is saluting femininity. The new edition will throw all fans of his creations. It is named Womanity. 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 <laughs> Jeez. And it arrived in stores in mid June of 2010. It's so, so it's not new. Composition of wom Womanity was created by Maine as a powerful contrast of element. I don't know what that means. I mean, if you're into it, I guess you would know. Okay. And it says, by using a new molecular process of extraction, Maine manages to extract natural aromas of fig or sweet accords. Savory notes originate from caviar and the structure and insured, structure and insured by fig wood aromas. Man, that, that was kind of like clunky. Good Lord. Okay, and the scent characteristics. Scent characteristics are fig, green notes, oak moss, and woody notes. And so the, uh, the fragrance family is greens, okay, things that are green. And the personality is classic, and it is good for daytime, and season is winter. So, hmm, let's see. <clears throat> that's very interesting so this is gonna have some kind of a warm fragrance to it so i don't know about those combination of those things scary okay but let's see this is very nice as well this is very reminiscent of um angel this is very very nice if you like things that are like green smelling, like green vegetables and, I don't know, grass, right? I mean, it is not bad. It is not bad at all. Don't get me wrong. I mean, when I say vegetables, you probably think it's celery. It's not that, okay? But it's, it's, it is smell. Like if you smell this and you, you're asked to describe a color, I think you'll say green. And it's very fresh. And I don't, I don't know. I don't, I definitely agree it's daytime and I don't agree with winter because it's like, it's more spring, you know? I mean, because it's got a very cool smell to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I also don't agree that it's classic, but um, it's good. I mean, it would not be my favorite. And I mean, compared to the Hermes, oh, Hermes, oh God, yeah. Maybe that's the problem. I should open this one first. But it's good. It's good, but it's not for me, you know? I mean, I don't really enjoy things that are, like, green and, like, grassy and, you know, forest-like. I do like wood, which I don't get out of this, which is surprising. Um, it's not a woody fragrance. Um, it does say it is a greens, but 
it is nice. It is nice. And I think there's, you know, plenty of people who like it. And that's the reason why I rate so highly. But it's just not my thing, you know. I like things that are a little bit more warm. And if it's going to be cold or cool, I want it to be a little more floral, right? Um, not so green. Or I even like, you know, like the woodsy ones are rarely cool. It's usually warm. So, but yeah, yeah, Woman Tea. Woman Tea by Theory Moogler. Not bad. I will give it a, I don't know, I'll give it a three and a half, probably maybe four, uh, only because um, other people may feel differently. But this is just my thoughts on it based on what I prefer. But again, this is not like the ones I will return, like those two that I returned. They were just like, yeah, nobody can possibly like this. I mean, it is just like stinky. And so, yeah. So, yeah, that's that. Okay. One minute. I don't know why, but I've been getting a lot of frog in my throat. It's like, uh, hello. So I had to clear my throat. Sorry about that. It was kind of gross for me to go, ah. So anyway, so I wanted to um, open this one. This is actually a gift. And do I need to say from whom? And so anyway, um, I think I know what it is. And this is the reason why I chose to open it with this video. And I'm going to feel pretty dumb if I'm wrong. And that's why I don't want to tell you about the story before I open it. Okay. And so where is my little opener? Because I need that. And I'm going to go ahead and open. And I can tell you from the box what, where it comes from. I mean, I'm just, you know, my eyes are just like, oh, I'm trying to open that. It has this thing. It's because the, the, the tape threw me off. So, okay. There it is. Okay, and I think I know what it is because it was, I kind of ruined it. And let me get this. And I love the fact that you can flip this inside out and use the box to ship. And it has a little tape on the other side. So you can just like kind of flip it and make this an outside. But I don't know if you want to ship it in that box because, you know, somebody sees that on a doorstep and somebody's taking it. So anyway, as usual, they do send it in a receipt. I'm sure it's a gift receipt. And here, and yeah, yeah, in case I want to return it, which I rarely do. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this back in here. But I mean, the presentation is just gorgeous, right? I mean, take a look at that. So beautiful. And so here it is, it's in a beautiful box. Okay, and it's just a, like a uh, remove from the top type of box. And there is a card. Okay, let's see. Aw, there you go. I'll let you read it. And it says to the one that means the most, I love you. So. Anywho, okay, here it is right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, I always get choked up when I get these things because it's the thought, you know, because I, I got to tell you the story behind it, and here it is, oh, okay, as, oh yeah, as usual, sample, let's see what sample was chosen here, okay, <laughs> that's funny. Chanel Blue. Yeah, I, I, I don't think this one was uh, chosen for me. And, but this is. And this is, and I do own this one, but not, I. but the older version of it, I understand that they changed the formulation a little bit, and I think they come in like three or four different, you know, colors, bottles or something like that. So I'm, I need to see which one this is, and I do like it. And I like all Chanel fragrances. And I love the fact that this is just so well made. Look at this. And it's a Chanel right on the bag. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there it is. And so I saved these things and I have them. And here it is and I'm right. And it's scooted over all the way to the left because it just, there it is right there. <clears throat> I don't know if I told you the story um, about, um, I got a sample from Chanel. And this one fragrance just really knocked me, I mean, really for a loop because it was just so beautiful. And I said, you know what, if I ever get this fragrance, that's going to be my 
signature fragrance and that's what I'm gonna wear every day and when people smell me they're gonna know you know when they smell that it's gonna remind them of me and also this is a fragrance that my husband said whoa what is that and so this is I hope that's what it is and yeah I think so and this comes in 2.5 fluid ounces which is 75 mil and I do know what it costs because I actually was shopping for it and it is $250 for the 75 milliliter bottle they do have one larger which is I believe 100 for $400 but I mean I never want to buy anything that big because I'm afraid that I won't go through it but of course having said that I may go through this one and so I still haven't told you what it is <clears throat> And I think a couple of you may know because I've talked so much about it in my last video. And here it is. Can you see it? Does it say? It is Chanel 1957. And this is such a beautiful, 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 beautiful fragrance. And, you know, I really, really look forward to um, things like this. And, I mean, look at the presentation, right? And the way it smells, let me tell you, because I know somebody asked me about it because they were interested. Um, sorry about that. I should have probably done this earlier. But I wasn't sure. I don't want to jinx myself. More details. Okay, in 1957, Gabrielle Chanel received the Neiman Marcus Fashion Award for her world-renowned talent and audacity to seize, reinvent, and marginally, uh, magnify, and marginally, magnify rare materials. The 1957 fragrance embodies the spirit, which is a signature of the heart of every Chanel creation. The composition is a sensual accord of white musk, is delicately fashioned with floral notes of bergamot, iris and neroli woody notes of cedar powdery accents and hint of honey a luminous scent a statement to be timeless style of the house and so it, it is true i do agree there's definitely very classic scent to it very different from chanel number no. five which is like one of my favorites and it's like it's really like more classic in a way that it's different and you imagine, you know, I can think back, you know, maybe in 1957, I just kind of like um, brings it to the imagination. So I am now wearing perfume today. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh my gosh. Oh, I just sprayed that on my, this fragrance is actually really, it's not, it, they say powdery, but it's really not. And it's really, really a um, great fragrance, I think. Um, if you're looking for sophistication and elegance and it just you know it just says elegance when you smell this and just like um, uh, the Chanel number no. five but the Chanel number no. five is a little more older this is something that I think would work for anybody of any age and um, I mean it's just so very nice and it's unique and it's very you know I don't know it's very classic and unique so yeah. Anyway, I will tell you the story behind it. Well, one night I was downstairs um, in the family room, you know, just kind of like going through my um, going through my apps and, you know, I have my Chanel open. I'm going through the Chanel and I'm reading, I'm looking at it and I'm contemplating it. And, you know, my husband's working on his um, uh, iPad and he's doing whatever. And he says, what are you doing over there? And then, you know, he looked over and um, he noticed that um, I was looking at it. And that was it. And so, yep. And I did put a little heart on it. And the voice says favorites. And look, it showed up now. So anyway, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. And I will enjoy it. And I am very appreciative of it. And if you are looking for a really good fragrance that, I mean, that you can love through time, I would recommend this. I highly, highly recommend this. And it is a little pricey. Um, but you know, instead of buying three bottles of something that's really okay, I'd rather spend money, you know, on something like this and one bottle of something very nice. So think of it that way. So yeah. And let me know if you've ever tried this, if, if you ever smelled it. And if you have a, a Chanel boutique near you, please give it a try because they do have them on display because it, it is um, exclusive to the boutiques and online so yeah you won't get it at like nordstrom's or anywhere like that so and i think they are going to start releasing them like at um bloomingdale's and stuff so you may be able to find it there okay
Alrighty, my beautiful wildflowers. Let me know what you think below. And if I added any value, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing and make sure you hit the bell button and hit all so you know every time I upload a brand new video. Alrighty, my beautiful wildflowers. I want you to have a good day, a good night, good week, a good weekend. Whenever you're watching this, it doesn't matter. Why? Because in a field of roses out there, be a wildflower and never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. tired right now i mean i think that's why my voice is like ah and i am so sorry about that it's like golly i haven't felt like this in a long time even look at my eyes but you know one thing though i did put on my um chanel um foundation that i showed you guys this is such a great matte foundation if you're looking for matte i mean i will go ahead and rank all the foundations i have one that's coming that i'm kind of mm, because i got a sample after i ordered it and i'm like mm, should i have bought that but then again i wore it for the day and as the day wore on it got better so i don't know anyway so yeah and um <laughs> then i did my best to put on makeup so i don't look so sleepy and i did go ahead and um use my I think I used Natasha Denona actually this time and it's my um I think this is my glam palette is what I used yeah but I, I like to keep it kind of simple so yeah and then um let me see did I powder this no I didn't and now it is um I'm on my lunch break it's 1 p.m and I put this on at 6 a.m so 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 7 hours and look at it, it still looks so luminous. Even though it's matte, it's not like matte matte. It's like, more like satin, yeah. And I really, really love this foundation. So yeah, I'm gonna do the um, foundation review for you guys. And yeah, just wait for that. And that'll be coming up, so. But I gotta go now because my lunch is about over. And I want you guys to have a great day and a great weekend. And be careful out there and always look for that silver lining. I'll talk to you guys soon because I love you all from the very bottom of my left ventricles. Bye! Mwah.